Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to turn one of these canvas tote bags that I got from Fashion Art Projects into an envelope clutch. First, let's turn one of the tote bags inside out and remove the handles. Um, this is in case you want to turn your clutch into a wristlet, but for now, I'm just carefully removing it and save it for some future projects. Okay, now we have both handles off and I'm going to fold the bag down to create the shape of the clutch. Using a ruler and a pencil, I'm going to draw out the shape of the envelope flap on top of the clutch. Just make sure that you find the center point and then have the diagonal line coming down. Then I'm running this part of the clutch through my sewing machine. Make sure you backstitch and um, use a stitch that's really strong and then I'm going to draw a horizontal line across the clutch connecting those two lines and then trim off my seam actually here you could see me debulk the fabric on the side to make sure that it's nice and flat and now here's the tricky part I'm going to cut through only one layer of the clutch and so you could see that I pulled the clutch up and then cut and here you can see it's already turning into a clutch, right? And so at each side of the clutch, I cut down a little bit because soon you see that I'm going to create a completely finished seam. No raw edge will be shown. So now I'm turning the whole clutch inside out. I mean, right side out. <laughs> and then um, press it to make sure that everything is in place. Here I'm bringing in my tiny little iron and I'm going to press everything into place. And you could see that um, the top part is slowly turning into like a nice envelope shape flap for our clutch. For the opening of the clutch, I'm starting to create a nicely finished seam. So I'm folding down on that piece of fabric that we cut on the side, a little slit to create the seam. And then let's take our clutch to the next level by putting in a liner for it. So I'm using a red cashmere and I'm cutting it into the shape of our clutch and then I'll just run a stitch around it to create like a little pouch. And then I insert that pouch into the clutch and line up the, the top part where it would be the opening for your clutch. And here you can see I'm pinning everything down, making sure that there's no raw edges exposed. And of course, later we will be running a straight stitch on the seam. This is a piece of fabric that I use for many other projects that I can definitely, definitely <laughs> link down below so you can see. But um, it's like one piece of cashmere that I keep using over and over again. I still have some left. So I'm going to run a top stitch on this part of the clutch as well to not let it open and flap around like that. And here you could see I'm already testing by putting my phone in there. And even the top part, I put a zigzag stitch to keep everything down. And, you know, of course, we have a nice clutch, right? But we're going to take it up another level by painting on it because a white clutch is, you know, maybe kind of boring. So I'm going to draw some chevron um, design on the top flap. And here you can see I divide it in half and then use the ruler as the... Um, divider for these chevron shape and I'm going with the shape of the envelope already so I'm using some acrylic fabric paint with a small brush a small detail brush and you can see I'm just filling in those boxes that I already draw out and you could see here well not right now but soon you see that my chevron design is not exactly your traditional chevron design because on the opposite side of where I'm painting right now I will be painting the empty boxes instead of connecting all the chevron lines together well you see what I'm talking about in a minute and 
and here I'm just showing you that if you're tired of being detail painting for a while you can always use masking tape and that's what I did on the other side and then uh, I go a little crazy and also paint the back of the clutch and I don't know about you but I love painting stuff you could see that there's so many projects that I just include you know the painting part into it so this is what I'm doing with this clutch and I really love the way it's turned out it's pretty um, cool looking so here I'm just taking off the tape and I can already reveal to you the final look of this clutch so depending on your mood you can always choose to rock the front pattern of the clutch or turn it around and show off the pattern in the back thank you so much for watching i hope this inspired you to make your own envelope clutch out of the canvas tote bags and don't forget to share if you do bye